Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So today in this video, we are going to talk about a very important class that is WebDriver Runner class in Selenide library. So I have created one test over here. I'm going to launch this application and uh, there is one very important class. You simply write WebDriver Runner and then you press a dot here. And then in this particular runner class, there are a number of methods are available. For example, if you really want to have a listener, you remember? that uh, we used to have webdriver event listener you can create this webdriver event listener and you can pass the object of uh, event listener class also that also you can take it although we will cover this maybe later not now it's slightly different topic but for example let's say you want to clear the cache we have a uh, selenium webdriver driver.manage.delete all the cookies and cache so you can clear the browser cache over here see this is the method they have written directly then let's see some other methods also. What if I want to get the current page URL? So you can call this method as well. Remember, driver.get current URL. We don't have direct method available, but we have to get the method from the driver runner actually. And then dot, if you really want to get the page source of the application, see the source HTML of the current page. So it will give you the HTML page source of that particular page. And if you go to this web driver class, right? Sorry, web driver runner class. Here you can see that number of methods are available. This is the dot class file. You can check it and the set web driver, set web driver. And then there are multiple. You can set the proxy also. A lot of good things that they have uh, written over here. You can just go through and then see close web driver. Also, you can do that close window. Also, you can do that. So let's see. I'll simple come here and uh, I'll write that. Okay. Uh, web driver runner dot close. See. They have given the close browser cache. It means delete all the browser cookies that we have. Sorry, close web driver, which is equivalent to driver.quit and close window. Also, you can use that exactly same thing we did yesterday in the last session as well, that you can directly use close window and close web driver also, which is also coming from the Selenite library. And you can use with the web driver runner also, you can use that. Okay, so let's see. I'll be using uh, close web driver or driver.quit later on. Okay, in between, I want to write some code. So let's run this code and uh, let's see what happens. So are we able to get the URL source and it should be able to clear the browser cache as well. See, it's launching the application and see it is absolutely working fine. And you can see on the console, which is fine. But if you really want to print the URL, let's print it also. We did not print actually. So let's print it with system dot or or you can store in a string and you can validate some other thing as well. So system dot or print Alan. Let's see. I'm printing the source here as well. OK, and uh, I simple run as test ng once again. So let's see. Uh, I'm, am I getting the current page URL as well as the page source of the application? Yes. See now see the console output. This time I'm getting a huge uh, page source. See, this is the complete page source of this application and this is the current page URL. And let's see if you really want to check, verify something in this particular page or some important text or something like this or important tag that you want to check that also you can do that later or you can simple put what if condition source dot contains or URL dot equals or URL dot contains. You can use it here. Perfect. For example, if I uh, show you once again, so I'll be writing web driver runner dot uh, URL uh, dot uh, contains. It contains what if it contains the URL. I'll just see this is the current URL if it is containing the orange HRM <coughs> live. So, so I'll just do one thing. This one orange HRM live. It means my condition is pass. Otherwise system dot or print Allen. I'll make it pass over here. Otherwise system dot or print Allen fail simple like or you can write some assertions also because you are already using test ng. So you can write some assertion as well. OK. So let her do better to write assertion. So I'll do one thing instead of one if condition, I'll be writing some assert dot assert a true condition here. And uh, OK, you don't need to write now system dot or print Allen. That's it. And then put a semicolon after that. And then this assert you have to import from test ng. So I have written one assertion and let's see this assertion is getting passed or not. So your test will be passed in that case. So you are totally independent to use JUnit and and any other uh, testing framework you can use with the Cucumber also. See the test is getting passed now. My test got passed here. Right now, what else? Under this particular web driver runner, 
you know you can get your main driver also that selenium underlying web driver also you can get it you know that see there is a method get web driver method and this get web driver method is actually saying get the underlying instance instance of the selenium web driver this can be used for any operations directly with web driver for example let's see some method is not available in selenite or you want to use the original methods of selenium web driver the actual selenium web driver library that you want to use it so this method will return what get web driver dot see now you will get all the methods see this is the get title method get current url method get page source method get window handle get window handles everything you are getting it in fact you are getting find element find elements these things are coming from web driver so this get web driver method will help you to uh, get the underlying selenium web driver instance and then you can perform the original web driver method also that also you can use that so in the same script you are using original web driver method as well as the wrapper method which are provided by selenite also that also you can use that because could be possible that selenite may be uh, not giving you 100% some some important methods are missing or maybe some specific methods are missing then you can use get web driver and then perform something like this for example let's say i want to uh, whatever you want to do that you can just capture that here see you can uh, do the manage dot let's say i want to apply the implicitly wait manage dot uh, timeout i can apply the implicitly wait of 20 i can use the time unit dot uh, seconds over here like this i can use that so see the implicitly wait that i have applied over here okay now let's see some other methods of webdriver runner so here you see webdriver runner dot there are some other methods as well for example let's see you want to check see simple write is i want to check that uh, <clears throat> on which browser the execution is happening is chrome is edge is firefox is headless i a legacy firefox or is opera so it will tell you a boolean see it will give you a boolean here for example let's see by default we are running on the is chrome so is chrome will return a boolean right so i can just print it on the console system dot or admin talent so let's see it is printing on with on console with boolean or not right because it could be possible at the runtime you want to check if the condition if the current browser is equal to chrome then on chrome let's see xpath is getting changed but on firefox you will be using css selector or internet explorer or opera or safari you will be using something else so you can put a condition at the runtime here that if it's equal to is chrome then do something right certain conditions that you can write over here for example in your framework there are chances that you can directly write this web driver runner dot is chrome and then you want to do something else system dot or let let's see on google chrome there is a specific feature is available so i'll write let's see some click on some button feature if it is chrome then only you have to click on it otherwise you can ignore it okay so you can write certain conditions like that these are the custom methods are available directly in selenite you can use it directly over here so let's see what exactly it is printing okay and now you can see the console output here you can see that okay yeah is chrome is equal to true yeah it's returning boolean and click on button yes because it's true condition is passed and clicking on button here like that and then finally automatically close the browser here as well okay now let's see some more important methods do you have anything else so here you can see the see get and check web driver also this method also could be important it's saying get the underlying instance of selenium web driver and assert that it is still alive so it will return the new instance of web driver if the previous one has been closed meanwhile for example let's see the previous driver is closed and then you can get the new instance immediately so that method also will return a web driver see this is math this method is returning a web driver only and then you can perform all the method like dot find element get method and everything you can perform it once again so this is also you can use it so i'm not using it directly as simple put it over here like that okay so this method is also useful and uh, let's see what else we have other than that uh, see here you can check check that uh, some proxy if you're using get selenite proxy if it's activated only if you have written configuration dot proxy enabled equal to true so maybe we can prepare a separate video on proxy later on okay you can set the proxy also you can create the proxy object and you can set it over here that also you can do that and source we have already covered and then we can see this method as well that support javascript it means the current browser that you're using is it supporting the javascript or not so this method also will give you a boolean so i'll tell simple put one system dot or a print talent 
that the webdriver runner dot support javascript this uh, browser see does this browser support javascript or not and it will return a boolean here so let's run it again i'll do one thing the source i'm just going to comment it out otherwise it will print a huge string on the console and then run as java application sorry test ng once again and uh, here you can see the application is getting open and perfect so here you can see on the console yeah it's giving you true here it means yes this browser supports javascript obviously all the browsers support javascript so this is just a simple method that they have given other than that if you really want to see let's see anything specific you don't need to remember each and every method but uh, these are the useful methods current frame url see it's saying the url of the current frame might be possible that okay in your application there is a frame is available and uh, and that frame is having some URL. So you can capture that frame URL as well. That also you can do that. Okay, get browser download folder. Okay, mm, that I need to check because this is returning a web driver downloads folder web driver runner. Okay, let's see what exactly this method is doing. First of all, let's see the return type of this method is uh, this method is giving you downloads folder. Okay, and from this download folder, what else I want? From the downloads folder, you can get a couple of things clean before download. Okay. And uh, file also you can file object also it will return files also the list of files also it will return. So we need to explore this what exactly this method is returning. So for example, let's see, uh, get browser downloads folder, it means in the browser, there is a download folder is available. And what are different files are available. So I'll do one thing. Let's see. Uh, let's get the list of all the files over here like this and the files will return what it's it's returning list of files so i'll store inside a list of file okay so uh, let's experiment this list of file and then this is my file list is equal to this okay and uh, i'm going to import a list object so let's import that import java.util and then you have to import file from java.io and this particular list, if you really want to iterate, or let's say I just want to check the current size of this list. So I'll write file list dot size over here. So let's see what is the current size that we are getting. So I'll run as a test ng. And uh, browser is getting open. There are some really good method these people they have give, created. And let's see, the current size is giving zero because we haven't uh, downloaded anything. So that's why it's giving you the file count over here that is zero so this method is saying that uh, all the description is not available get browser downloads folder or you can go through this map map method and this method is getting called over here this method is calling getting called and then you can see the implementation and uh, here the implementation is this that okay get browser downloads folder and from the thread download folder it will just call this get method it means uh, it's a returning see a map with the download folder over here like this but anyways uh, i don't see a big useful thing over here so if you have any specific case for downloading thing and how many download files are available after downloading option you can check it here right now it's giving you the size as zero here okay or maybe we can experiment this thing later on right so these are the important methods you can again go through this webdriver runner class in your uh, editor in your eclipse or intellij and then press Control O and you will see all the important method list over here, right? So here you can see this is a constructor and uh, here add listener, we can check it later, but that's not important because uh, these days we don't use web, uh, web driver event listener. We, day, we these days we use uh, test ng listener or you can create your own LR report listener or test ng listener and uh, set web driver also you can use that if you really want to create your own custom web driver you have added some extra capability that also you can use it over here i think uh, yeah check browser specific thing close browser and everything headless also you can check that are you running in the headless mode or not so you can experiment some of the important methods but not all the method you need to learn and remember these are the important method that i have covered in fact you can ignore this download folder files also you can ignore that so this is the overview about the web driver runner class and remember this thing that i told you that web driver runner class will give you its own driver also you can get it that are right it means any legacy sorry any uh, web driver method that you want to access that that also you can access this is like something a really nice feature okay you can use it over here so this method i was talking about get web driver method
underlying instance of the Selenium web driver and you can call this particular method get web driver method and then from here you can access anything just like we did it over here the manage timeout and everything you can use find element get title get page source get window handles these are the now actual methods coming from Selenium web driver quit close switch to everything you can get it over here so that's the overview of uh, the web driver runner please experiment it please practice and then uh, let me know if you have any issues or any other findings with respect to web driver runner Thank you so much guys. I hope you are liking this Selenite series. A lot of good things are coming. First initial days we will just covering all the core features of Selenite and then we will try to design one <coughs> framework. Try to integrate with some reporting tool, integrate with Jenkins and everything. And we will try to design one end-to-end -end framework as well. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to the channel. Keep watching Navin Automation Labs. I will see you in the next video. Till then take care and God bless you all.